In this tutorial, you'll learn how to model and texture medieval shield. All the steps in this tutorial are explained, so stay tuned. Modeling In the first step, we will make the base mesh, which in this tutorial we use a sketch for the reference. First, we add a plane, we put our plane in the best position, and after that we go to the edit mode. Direct the vertices to put them in the right place because the shield has a symmetrical position. Puts us to build the right half and after that we mirror other half. Here from the transform, place the pivot point on the active element and enlarge the scale. Then make the location more accurate by dividing the plane into two faces. After locating place, the selection mode on the edge Select and weak extrude, you can divide it into two or more parts again to continue working and place the vertices in the right place. After turning the initial base into a shield, we can create vertical loops with the R control. In the edit mode, we select all the faces and after selecting all the faces, we extrude the work by pressing the E button and make it as thick as needed. Then we select and extrude the surrounding face loops and then for the softness, we go to the modifier properties and we add subdivision surface. At first, the appearance of the work is a bit messed up. For fixing this, we go to the edit mode and we push Ctrl R, then we add edge loops. Note that we add edge loops for the areas we want to be sharp. After that, we add mirror modifier. So our object mirrors well in the center of the three-dimensional space. We add a cube and specify that the shield be symmetrical based on the center of the cube so we don't have any problems in the other software. To do this, we go to the mirror modifier and in mirror object panel, we select cube to eliminate the deformation. In the middle of the work, we activate the clipping tick in the mirror modifier. Then we go into edit mode and select all vertexes of the central part of our object and direct it to the left and right to fix this bug. Now to bend the shield and shape it, we create a lattice and after scaling it, it covers the area around our object and has the least extra space. As our lattice is selected, go to the object data properties and set the V and W factors to 3 in the resolution section. Then select our object and from modifier properties we select the lattice and in the object section we select lattice again. Now just go to the lattice edit mode section and move some of its middle vertices forward. As you can see our shield is curved. Now let's create the middle part of the shield. Add a cube, scale it so it fits our job completely. To shape the middle part of the arch again, select it and from modifier properties we add lattice and from object we select lattice. We see the same amount of deformation. Be careful to create horizontal edges on the middle object so the bending operation is done well. Now we can add a subdivision surface to soften the work. Detail After we made our shield base mesh, we export our object in FBX format and import it into ZBrush software. After importing it and adjusting its scale, we divide our model. Once we have imported the alpha, select the standard brush and set the brush mode to direct rectangle, then select the alpha that you like and direct it into the area that you want to add details. If the height subdivision slows you down, you can dimension the object instead of using the height subdivision. In order for the alpha to be applied only on the work and not to affect the back of the work, we activate the back face mask from the brush menu under the auto masking menu. Now the alpha will be applied only on the front part of the work. After we have detailed all parts of our object using alpha, we'll use alpha again to create more details such as metal or scratches. After we have given details to all the work, we merge all parts of our shell. Then we will get a duplicate from the merge file. We will name one of them low poly and the other one high poly. Select low poly and from the plugin menu, we select the simulation master. 
Now select pre-process current and we wait for the brush to process. After that, in the decimation master, we put decimation percentage to 1 and we select decimate current. Now the software automatically reduced the number of our object polygons by 99%. Finally, we export low poly and high poly. Texture we import the low poly model into the Substance Painter software and when importing, we activate the auto unwrap so the software automatically unwraps our model. Now in texture, set tab, we bake our high poly model on low poly model. Finally, we paint and glaze our work using Substance Painter materials and Smart materials. I use CG Sphere Ornament Alphas to give details to the shield. You can download these alphas with the link in the description. Please support us with your subscription and likes so we can continue our work and create more tutorials. We'll be happy to see your comments about this tutorial. See you in the next tutorial.